What's good everyone? Today I will be showing you how to do a speed ramp transition effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So basically what this effect does is combine a speed ramp with a match cut to create this super seamless, super smooth transition in between two clips. This transition is amazing because it looks really professional and it's something where if one of your viewers hasn't seen this type of transition before, it really has that wow factor. And it makes people think that you're using some sort of plug-in transition when in reality this is all an in-camera effect. If you've ever seen the seamless transitions of filmmakers like J.R. Ali or Sam Colder, this type of transition is something they use a lot to hide their cuts, essentially. Before we jump into it, I just want to ask you to drop a like below and subscribe if you want to see more Final Cut Pro tutorials in the future. So all you need for this transition is two clips, preferably filmed in slow motion and with the same direction of camera movement. So for these two clips, I just have these two people riding by on bikes in San Francisco that I filmed. And if you notice, in both clips, my camera and the person is moving from left to right. So to do this effect, we're going to need to speed ramp both the clips so they go from fast to slow to fast. If you don't know how to speed ramp, you can watch my other tutorial, but the gist of it is, is you need to click on the clip, decide where you want the slow motion to start. That looks good to me. She's right in the middle of the clip. Press shift B and then decide where you want the slow motion to end. Press shift B again. Then we're going to click on this arrow and make the beginning portion faster. Make the middle portion slow motion. And then make the end of the clip fast. So now our first clip is speed ramp, so let's just play that. And then we'll repeat the process for the second clip. So click on the clip in your timeline, decide where you want the slow motion to start, press shift B, decide where you want the slow motion to end, shift B again, and then again the same process, just speed up the beginning of the clip, I like around 8 times, slow down the middle of the clip, and then speed up the end of the clip. So let's watch this from the beginning. And there you have it, a professional speed ramp seamless transition effect, just like J.R. Ali or Sam Colder. And a lot of the times you're going to have to play around with where the slow motion starts and ends, how long the clip lasts, where exactly the cut is between the two clips just to make it seamless. And for that, it's just trial and error. Another thing that can really help add to the seamless feel of this transition is adding some sound design. So since the clip is moving really fast at the end and the beginning of this clip is also moving really fast, some sort of whoosh effect could really help sell it. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you learned something, be sure to drop a like below and comment what tutorial you want me to do next. See you all next time.